Real men don't care how they dress. That stuff's for sissies who never get their hands dirty. Losers. I've heard this bullshit from more people than I care to admit. More guys, manly men. You know the type. They're usually pretty angry inside. They're the kind of guy who will never admit that they're wrong. You'll never change their mind, so it's not even worth trying. But the sad thing is, they're really missing out on an extremely powerful tool. Clothing at its core is just a means to protect us, keep us warm, and cover up our uh, private bits. So if that's the case, from a purely utilitarian perspective, then why don't we all wear the exact same materials in layers as needed in the exact same color? The reason is, is that clothing is a lot more than that. It's a means of communication. Even the guys I mentioned earlier are actually communicating, although they don't realize it, with the way they dress. Consider for a second the typical dad uniform, at least here in the US, which is usually cargo shorts, a t-shirt, some kind of ratty sneakers, and you know, uh, your favorite team hat. That's You can find that anywhere in the US, no matter where you are. Or consider a laborer, just off the job. Dirty jeans, boots, and a high-vis t-shirt. Or the office dweller with his button-up shirt, ill-fitting khakis, and loafers. Each one of these people, it's almost a caricature in your brain, and you can start to make assumptions based on what you see. We all judge other people based on appearance. A guy who's wearing a Hells Angels jacket, for example, will give you a different feeling than somebody who's wearing a doctor's outfit. And this is the major flaw in the real men don't care how they dress argument. It's like being on a basketball court with the game in full swing and refusing to play. There is a game being played all around you all day, every day that you are in public. So why not learn the rules and manipulate them to suit your needs? And of course, there's also the other benefit of looking good, feeling good, which enhances everything you do, boosts your confidence, makes you more attractive, more productive at work. It's far reaching. And that's an advantage, which even if you don't care about the opinions of other people, it's a very important life hack. Have a look at any man worthy of admiration. And I guarantee you that they have a very intentional way of dressing. The doctor, the lawyer, the biker, the train conductor, Police, all these different people, you could come up with some sort of an idea of how they should look. And when somebody dressed that way immediately approaches you, you start to make assumptions based on what you see. Now, as not to beat this point to death, I want to tell you about how I've used this technique in my profession. I've been in construction for the last 15 years. Before that, I was a mechanic. I've always worked with my hands. And in the industry of construction, there is a little bit of wiggle room on how you can dress, but mostly it's function. But I did find some loopholes, and the thing that I learned was always to dress one level above the level that you were at. More or less, the whole dress to impress, um, dress for the job you want kind of thing, it does ring true. So when I was an apprentice, which is nothing more than somebody who is learning the trade at the very bottom level, I would dress in a polo, clean jeans, boots, and take care of my grooming. This put me above most of the people who I was working with. And as a matter of fact, this really got to my foreman at the time because people would come onto the job and assume that I was in charge because I was the one who was dressed well. So they would come to me and ask me questions and, and he would run over and be like, oh, I'm in charge. It really pissed him off. But what this did was it got my boss's attention. And he kind of said, look, I, I, I feel confident with making you sort of the face of the company at meetings and things like that. It bumped me up to a foreman position. Now, not that alone. I mean, obviously, you have to have the goods. This is just going to give you maybe that extra 10%. And when it comes to getting the job over somebody else, 10% can be quite a bit. So I dressed well, even as an apprentice. When I got to a foreman level, I was licensed at this point. I had been in the trade for a number of years and I was running small crews. Well, I would dress in a decent button up shirt, work shirt, again, clean jeans, clean boots, take care of my grooming, be the guy who was confident to be the face of the company in meetings, uh, meeting with an owner or a rep, those kind of things. It really did mean quite a bit and enough so that eventually I got noticed by the people in the office. At this point, I was working for a much larger company and they said, hey, you know, uh, would you ever consider moving into the office and looking at more of a management type position? Yeah. This was in my uh, <laughs> on my radar the entire time. 
So long story short, I have been out of the field and in the management side of construction for the last five years. And it's a totally different side of construction. I really enjoy it, but I definitely attribute a lot of my success in this career to dressing well and not dressing. You don't want to dress like the CEO of your company because he earned the, the right to dress that well. You don't want to show up in a gold Rolex and Gucci loafers. You're not quite there yet. There are certain things that people earn, but it definitely helped me out quite a bit. Of course, this does take a certain degree of bravery. People really don't like it when you sort of aspire for something above the group of which they're a part. They don't want to see you strive for more. And I remember hearing, what do you think you're better than us? Quite a few times. I heard it when uh, it got out that I was going to college classes at night to get my degree. I heard it when I went from the field to the office. I've heard it plenty of times. And as a matter of fact, I've kind of started to take it as a sign that I'm on the right path. But then again, maybe you're happy where you're at. Maybe you are absolutely fulfilled and happy with the job that you currently have, no matter what it is. Well, dressing well and dressing for that job, it lets everybody else around you know that you take that profession seriously, that you take your job seriously, and that you are good at what you do. If your doctor shows up and his tie is all messed up and his hair is screwy and you know he has uh, his shirt is half tucked in i'm not sure i want that guy you know taking up my pancreas so that's just the professional side of it that's just your career the other side of it is attraction even if you're somebody who isn't looking for somebody new i've been married now for the last four years and you know this still is an element of feeling good when you are uh attractive to your mate so you're going out, maybe you're getting eyes from other people, but she or he or whoever is looking at you and they feel that sense of attraction, that spark which really brought you there in the first place. It shows that you care enough about yourself to make yourself look good. Dressing well really enhances everything else you got going. And when you're a guy like me, you need all the help that you can get. But if you are single, when I was single, it helps with your charisma, helps with your confidence. You can go over and talk to somebody because you know you look good. When you look in the mirror, when you leave and you go, I look put together. Hell yeah, let's do this thing. That just translates. It oozes from you. And people pick up on that. And it's attractive. It's charisma. It's, it's all of that stuff that you hear about being attractive to the opposite sex or the same sex, whatever, which way you roll, doesn't really matter. It's pretty much universally attractive. So when I hear that stupid phrase, a real man doesn't care how he dresses, what I'm actually hearing is I am too lazy to care about such things and I've basically given up and uh, you probably shouldn't waste any more of your time talking to me. Now that's a bit of, a, of an overstatement. A lot of guys who feel that way are actually good people, but I just wish that they were a little bit more enlightened to all of the benefits which dressing well has brought me. And I, I know it's a little strange me sitting here talking to you in a Carhartt t-shirt. Maybe I put, should have put a, uh, you know, a suit on for this video, but I don't know, man, you know, really, um, it's just done a lot for me. So uh, hopefully you've experienced this as well. There's a transformative effect, which just, it catches hold and uh, it's, it's really pretty amazing. So next time somebody says that to you, tell them that you know better. Thanks so much for watching. I have created a VIP group if you're interested in getting a little bit more in depth with this kind of thing. There's also other benefits included, getting early access to these videos, all kinds of discounts when I get them. Basically, you're gonna be treated like a VIP of this channel. And if you're interested in that, well, go ahead and click the link in the description below. Catch you next time.